Hi, this is Bong from McLeod Technology again. Today, we will uh, make a video how to install the Acrorip that you bought from McLeod. So, the first thing you do is um, you have to insert the, the, the dangle. The dangle is a key, this one. This dangle. Yeah, this is the one. So, this is the key. There's no data inside. Just this is just a key to verify that you are using the right acrylic. Okay. So the first thing you do is open your Google Chrome. Okay. Then go to MacLeod Technology website. MacLeod Technology. website this uh, part of it here called about us okay and in about us there is a download there for acro reef 9.03 so there's a pH version because we send a different uh, dangle to the Philippines so that's why there's a pH version and there's another one that's a US version so from this you download it then this is how it shows download anyway after it, it goes, it, it, it will just proceed. Okay, it's started to download. Then you save it maybe wherever folder you want. Maybe in the download. Okay. Then since we already save it there, so it's already there. Okay. Then after you do that, then you open close it and open your explorer so when you open your explorer you go to downloads and you can see this uh, data that you download then you need to click that and there is a if you see those things there's a mri uh, setup 2019 there's a video here if you would like to know how it is done here too but it, you can watch that thing too, but uh, you can run this thing. So after that, you double click this, and there's an extra call or run. So what you have to do is run, run it, or maybe you can right click it, and it says don't run. Okay, so to say more info and run anyway and after that we'll go like this and this is what it says do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes in your device and said yes so this will run like this and just hit next then it will install to partner b9 so just do that next great icon desktop icon and just next then install so it will run like that okay you will do those things then after that hit finish so the software is already installed then the first thing you do is go to setting over here and go to setting okay setting then after you go to setting you go to update and security then from there you will find the windows security okay if you're using the windows 10 so this video is about windows 10 i think in windows 7 you don't need these things Then after that, uh, 
uh, if there's a virus and virus virus and threat protection so before you do that virus and threat protection then there's a manage setting okay here manage setting so you off all you have to do is do the real time protection you off that one and you said yes okay then below to that you go down here this is the most important one because after you restart your computer the windows the the antivirus protection or the real-time protection will just get back on so in order that you could still keep running your accurate because you will think it's, there is a virus because you are accessing outside of the USB so you have to do is to go to the exclusion then add and remove exclusion and here you have to add an exclusion so you already added here okay sorry about that so go to the exclusion and add an exclusion so I already added here but this is the way to do it you have to add click that add and there's file folder file type and process so you do the file type oh no sorry add exclusion and folder then you go to b9 partner b9 you click that and select the folder okay select the folder and it says do you allow this app to make changes in your device and yes so after that it will appear this one it should be like that c partner b9 and folder system. then after that you can put it back on the real time put it back on then you close that close those things and you can start running your RIP. this is the s this is the partner RIP white version 9, the S. Okay, you click this one. So it will appear like this. Okay, so this is how it looks. So the first thing you do is go to file, file, okay, and go to unit. So you have to, to determine what unit you want to do, inch, mm, or cm. Then second, you can go to the page margin. So if there's a page margin here. Normally, I like to, you can put there like 0.25 inch or 0.1 inch. But you know, normally, I put like a 0.25 because I use inch because this is in the US. So we use inch 0.25 so this is like a quarter of inch so this is from the left this is on the left side here okay this is on the left side here and on the top so when it prints it always give you the allowance on the left side about quarter of an inch okay then I said okay then you can go with view and show grid okay so the grid is to have like this this is the grid all right once you do that, you start with the layout. Layout is here, okay? You focus that. This is the most important part here. Layout, printer, color, and white. So you go there, go to the layout, then you choose your paper size. So the purpose of this is just to choose your paper size, okay? That's the paper size. So I put already like, and click that, put your paper size. So normally, if you are using 8 so 11.25. And the height is 16.5 so that's the size of an 80 and the rest of it original size it depends to the output size it depends then this one is the scale of proportion because if you change the size of your image it will start to to equally proportion so let's say let's try this one i load this one so you can load here file let's say put an image open Okay, and find your, find your, find your image that you want to load up. Let's say I want this one. Okay. So this is the image. Okay. And 
the size of this is uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five inch. Okay, so you can drag it. So because it's proportion, it drags uh, equally. Okay, so that's it. And this is the pile that we would like to do. Then after the layout, so if you want to drag it uh, horizontally or you want to drag it horizontally or vertically and it's not proportion you just do the scale here instead of true make it false here okay now let's go to the printer if you are using an l1800 so the, this is the setting okay you just do the stylus photo 3090 and 1400 so that's the first thing Okay, this is what you choose. And okay, number two, for the port, you have to choose the port where you are installed. So here is USB 001. Okay. Now, if you are using two printers in one computer, then this is the setting that you need to change all the time. So after you print, we will have that another video. Then this is the port that you choose. Then you print it. Once it starts printing, you can go back here, change the printer, and change the port, and print also on the second printer. So that your production will be faster you know if you have two printers okay then second one the third one is spoiler polar so start in uh, printing immediately then check paper size it's always off then the resolution you can put a uh, 14 by 40 by 14 40 dpi white resolution also is 14 by 40 by 14 by 40 dpi then image type so it should be photograph and feeding is sheet, speed is by direction, print image resample is false, color that size mix, and uh, white that size mix. Okay, then go to the color, this is the most important one. So you choose an uh, ink channel. So the ink channel should be, you should focus on that. If you're using an Epson L1800, so it's Y. KWWMC because the light cayenne and light magenta we put the we, we put the white. For me, I like this kind of setting. This is the standard, so 80%, 80%. So this is the thing that you need to change because here you can choose a different white channel, okay? Sorry. So that's the one. All white. This one. But if you are using the white, if you are using the standard ink, this is the one. So this is what you choose, okay? So this is the setting. And after that, you go save. So save, like this, and save, okay? From the right, yes, okay. Then you go to the last one, is the white. Here, I use gradient white under any color pixel. So you can do that. You can change it also to whatever you want. You can just experiment it, but for me, I like a white, gradient white under any color pixel. Okay, and that's the only thing. And here, the view is let's say you want this one, the view, if you want it white, let's see, like that. It's a color, normally, it's in color H and L or preview. So, color, and you can do the preview. See. So that's how it looks okay now so we're ready to print so let's go back to the printer okay printer so the thing that you shouldn't forget this is the original image this is the image that we're gonna print this one so what we're gonna do is flip it we have to mirror it okay so we have to mirror the one so you go here beside the icon of a printer there's a mirror so you can mirror it so see it's different so this is the original image and this is the image to be print. Then the next is you hit print, okay? Now here, this is the most important. This is always where the mistake is. So this is the standard setting. So page margin, it will appear here. Output position is zero, zero because it's in the side. You always go on the side. Then the output size, is, this is the output size, the printer. The USB port, ICC profile is off, you know, the white channel, okay? 
and resolution. Then this is the most important one, these two. Print color first, you have to check that. And color plus white, you have to check that, okay? Then there's a nozzle here, 90 nozzle. You can reduce it, you can test try to experiment it, okay? Then this is the one number of copies. If you want three copies, four copies, then after that you hit print. After you hit print, then you start it to print and start to work with your printer. So this is the most important one. This is where people always commit the mistake. So don't forget that and try to have an experiment. I hope this video will help you. So I share you already about the upper rip, how to use it, and yeah. I think uh, I forgot nothing. Yeah, we're good to go. So if you have some question, just message us. Go to our website. We have the messenger there. You can message our uh, call center agent. We have a 24/7 call center agent at McLeod because we are serving a lot of countries, and so that's why we are running 24/7. So just have a little bit patience of our agent because they are still new. They are still on, you know learning in the learning curve. But uh, you can get a lot of information from them. Alright, so see you again for the next video. Happy holidays.